This is an experiment to determine the resistivity of a metal wire. This is the wire that I will be using to take measurements for. It's a wire made out of a metal called Constantin. It's very thin, so you might be able, you should be able to see it on with the paper as a background there. That's the wire. Uh, the method is going to be as follows. I will work out the cross-sectional area of the wire by using a micrometer to measure the diameter at a couple of places along the wire, one end and the other end. That allows me to work out an average value for the diameter and then I can use that to work out the cross-sectional area. Then I will measure out different lengths of the wire and use these crocodile clips to clip on to give me that length. I'll pass a current through that length, measure the current with an ammeter, measure the voltage across it with this voltmeter. I can, from voltage and current, I can work out resistance. Then I'll have a series of length data and resistance data, which I can then plot a graph of resistance against length. The gradient of that line can then be used to work out the resistivity. So let's get started by measuring the diameter. I'm going to measure the diameter at this end of the wire first. Just go through the procedure for that. So uh, these are the rods, the measuring rods here for the micrometer. So I put the wire between those. This is the thimble. And in underneath the thimble, you have the, if I can just get this in focus in the shot. So we've got the measuring rods. This is the thimble here. This is the ratchet. And there's the millimeter scale there on top. And underneath there's a half millimeter scale. And these, uh, along the thimble, those are hundredths of a millimetre around there. And one revolution is half a millimetre, so there's 50 hundredths there. Now if I screw this up until the ratchet clicks a couple of times, I can use the locking lever now to stop the thimble rotating anymore. And now if I... Uh, have a look on the scale here. I'm less than one millimeter and less than a half millimeter. So I'm just reading off the thimble to find out what the diameter of the wire is directly. And it's at 41. So that would make the diameter of this wire 0 0.41 millimeters. That seems a bit big. I might be on a kink here. So I'm just going to double check that. We go to another section of the wire that's a bit straighter. Okay. Now that is 0 0.27, which is much more realistic for this wire. I know that this wire is about 0 0.30 millimeters. So I've got that as 0.27. So I'm going to write that down. We do want to try and avoid kinks in the wire. <clears throat> I'm going to look for a straighter section here on this wire. And yet, that's, there's a straighter section there. So if I I'll screw on to that. There we go. And this has come out as... Twenty twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, so point two eight. I'm not going to do any calculations with that at the moment. I've got a spreadsheet set up, so I'll just put these values into the spreadsheet when I come to that stage. Next stage is now to get some current and voltage readings for different lengths. So I can put the micrometer to one side. Right. Both those in. Okay. Now I'm going to start off at 20 centimeters. Okay. 
measuring out length of 20 centimeters. Now, pass the current through 1 1.03, 1.0, 1.0, 1.04, I think, 2.06. So I'm writing, writing down the current voltage. Now I'm going to increase the length to 30 centimetres. Once I've done a series of measurements all the way up to 70 centimetres, I'll then get a repeat set of readings going down. So I'm going to go through those uh, up to 70 centimetres. Right, I've got a set of measurements now to 70 centimetres. I'm going to get repeat readings for the voltage and current so that I can work out average values and I can use that to work out the resistance. Now I have all the data that I need, I'll now move over to the spreadsheet, put the data in and we can see what we get for the resistivity.